I am so happy to be here because I was probably, like maybe some of you are, I had no life with my knees. Uh, I'm just going to give you a little background of what, how I got to where I was. And I, was, I decided to be a bodybuilder when I was younger. And only because I had three boys and they showed an interest. They stayed a few months and left and they didn't want to come anymore and I just continued on. So needless to say, there's so many squats and lunges and things like that. You know, I could feel tinges in my knees at 40. And, uh, and I went, to, went and had um, scopic surgery on my knees quite a few times. And every so often I'd have to get an injection. They were only getting worse, not better. About 10 years ago, I still lived in Maryland. And the doctor told me, you are definitely going to need two knee replacements. And with being as athletic as I am, because I still go to the gym four and five times a week, and I knew that if I, I didn't want that, because I, didn't, I don't like taking drugs. I am a very, very healthy person. But it got to the point where both knees, because of chopping and getting my dinner ready at night, my knees were starting to click out of place. And, and you just kind of don't want to move and you go like this and you wait for it to click back in because I was bone on bone. And I, um, I just, I went to a doctor, he told me about, you need, definitely need two of your knee replacements now. You need them now because you're bone on bone. And then I went, I went to church one week and I just mentioned to my friend, I said, gosh, can you pray for me? It's like so bad. And then next thing you know, she calls me up on the phone and she tells me about this gentleman. She said, his name is Ray Brown. I never, th that name is very sacred to me today. And she said, I said, could you please then, give him my phone number. She said, his knees were so bad. And he went somewhere in Melbourne. She wasn't sure of the name and everything. And I said, could you please give him my name and have him give me a call. Well, he called me and he said to me, I couldn't do anything. I barely could walk. I guarantee you if you go there, you're going to be happy. So I called and I got a consultation, wanted to go in and talk to Nicole. I love Nicole. She knows more about your body than you do. And she started telling me things that were wrong and I thought, wow, how does she know all this just by looking at me? And um, we talked for a long time and she told me that definitely my hips, which was true. I had a sciatic problem and she knew my knees were bone on bone. So that was back in February. And when I was in the consultation with her, she said to me, she said, you're gonna see my girls, my staff. She said, my girls are hand picked. You're gonna, they're just very good at what they do and you're gonna love them. So I signed up that night, came back the next day for my first laser treatment because they had to do two lasers before they gave me my stem cell shots. Now there was a doctor who came in and they took blood from me and they mixed it with the stem cell. And uh, I remember even when I drove in for the stem cell shots, the pain was hard with driving. And when I, the doctor did the shots, then I went on uh, three, three or four times a week with the laser and then it, three times a week and then two times a week and three times a week for a while. And then two times and then after about three weeks, my pain was going away. Not just away, and just like getting lighter, away. And I just couldn't believe it. And I, I said, you know, could, I was afraid, I was nervous. I was like, this is gonna come back, I know it. But they talk, you have to do what they tell you to do. Um, my husband would tell you, I'm so good at that. If I go to the doctors and he said this, this, and this, because you, you know, if I don't have to take drugs and I don't have to go into to uh, have work after the, even after you get the knee replacements. I mean, you, you just lose your mob mobile in your knees. My knees were so blown up and lumps and they were a mess. So not only did the pain go away, but I got the shape back in my knees. Oh, I was so happy. Where I used to cover my knees all the time, I would say, look to my husband. They're pretty again, look at them, I have knees. And it's just amazing. It's, I don't know how to explain it. It's like I have, I explain it this way, 17-year-old knees. 
I'm so old I don't remember what I these were like at 17 but that's the only way I can say I had young knees not only did my shape come back but there was no pain and the girls boy well she wasn't kidding when she said they're hand-picked I fell in love with every one of them we had talks they take their time they're they tell you everything they're going to do to your knees they ask you where the pain is they work on that a little longer they you are there and when I said to her when does my time end and she they said to me they said it doesn't until you're better I can only tell you that you just get great results you're going to meet wonderful people they're going to take such good care of you I have no pain anywhere my life is so so different now I enjoy life now I started to think 70 I know what they mean by being 70 but it doesn't have to be that way you can be pain-free